Hello, this is the first video in the course designed to teach you how to create a single page business application using WebExChat. The sample application is an admin app for a commercial enterprise for managing a lot of data. You will learn how to build the basic app structure, enable navigation between app parts, and visualize server side data in the user interface. Development begins with deciding on the structure of the application. For my app, I will create a dashboard and four data tables. The dashboard will display charts with financial statistics, and the data tables will display data on customers, products, services, and orders. Let's start with creating the basic layout with placeholders for interface components. Interfaces in WebExJet are split into modules that are stored in files in the Views folder. Let's create the view file for the layout. I define the view as an instance of the JetView class. So I import the class, define the top view class, and describe the configuration in its config method. For now, the UI will have template placeholders for each part. Now I can work with each component one by one. Let's begin with the side menu. I create a new view class and initialize a selectable vertical WebEx menu. The menu plugin will simplify navigation. The options are stored in a model. That's why I import it and parse them into the menu. This part is almost ready. Now I'll style the options with a template. Let's include the menu in top view and change template placeholders to the real UI components. The first row is a toolbar with a logo. The second row includes two columns. Menu view is included statically. I import it from the menu.js file. The main view contains a placeholder for dynamic subviews, which will be placed depending on the URL. The last row is a template with CSS. I created several subviews, and for now they will contain templates as placeholders for the real content. For example, this is a placeholder for orders. It is a class view, the config method of which returns a template. Now my app looks like this. Let's create a selectable data table with products. I create a new view and initialize a data table with four columns, code, name, price, and quantity. Now I create the services data table in the same way. As you can see, products and services data tables have similar structure. It's reasonable to create a new view with data table UI. This view will contain the common configuration for two instances of the data table. Later, I'll include the view as a subview in products and services and define specific features in their ready methods, differences in configuration, and data. I can include a subview by putting its name in both views and load different data into each one. For each view, I create a data model. A model defines how the data are loaded into the app from the server. Each model contains a data collection that loads the data from the provided URL. Data collection has no graphic representation and is used to store data. It is the best way if you want to load a relatively small data set and use it in several UI components. I will talk about it in more detail in the next videos. Now let's populate each view with data from JSON files. Then I import the collection in the products view. To load the data, I will synchronize the collections and the data tables in the ready method. I load data in the services view in the same way. There is no quantity column in services data table, so I will hide it using the hide column method. The data tables are populated with the data now. The customer's view will include another data table with five columns. To load the data, I create a new model with data collection. Now I can synchronize the collection and the data table as I did with products and services view. The first part of the application is ready. In the next video, I will show you how to edit data in data tables with the help of form and window. Get WebEx UI and WebEx Jet to start creating fast and reliable apps.